it must be just about the most popular op opera in the repertoire. I mean, along with Figaro and Don Giovanni, unlike them, unlike those grand Mozart operas, it's rooted in the real story, but it's popular because it's melodically unimaginably beautiful. I do believe that Verdi poured his entire incomparable genius into that work. I think it's a deeply, profoundly uh, personal work, that this is on some level. I mean, he's very paying tribute to a young woman whom he never knew, but he knew plenty of people who had known her. And a young woman whose terrible life, I think, perhaps fairly thought, if it hadn't been for this wonderful man, Brazzi, whose daughter he married, picking me up, Verdi failed the conservatory at Milan. They thought he wasn't any good. He wasn't good enough as a musician. They didn't see his genius. Somebody did. That was Antonio Barezzi, who picked Verdi out of nowhere. And I think all his fears and all his own thoughts about what might have been, or what might, as opposed to what was, come uh, somehow echoed, echoed beneath the surface of Traviata.